creating something significant from a garden herb. These volunteers have been working hard to craft more than 4,000 posies to be laid on servicemen and women's graves this Anzac Day. Organisers are elated at the number of people of all ages who answer the call to lend a hand. We've got children from you know, six and seven year old right through to high school students, right through to people in their 90s, so it's a real real mixture of the community and it's something that people say they, it's a physical thing they can come and do. There was one lady here who said that she's take, for the last three or four years taken the morning off work so she can come and do it. 2016 marks 100 years of Anzac Day services and the accompanying public holiday. It's also the 100th anniversary of the Royal New Zealand Returned and Services Association. Despite it being so many years since World War I, Turner says there's a growing interest from young people keen to learn about it. I think that's the generations are actually really interested and I think when if the war, um, you know, say 100 years ago, they didn't, they sort of seemed to come back and not say a lot about it, but now it's more talked about and, you know, and the people are appreciating what those people actually went through and what they did for the country, which is really special. The large amount of rosemary required has been donated throughout the week by members of the public. In the more than 4,000 handcrafted posies, the herb represents remembrance, while red paper signifies the poppy. Once they're all boxed up, they'll be safely stored ahead of Monday's services. The posies will be put on the um, servicemen's graves at the Anderson's Bay Posy Name Ceremony, and they're put out by um, Girl Guides, Brownies and Pippins. The floral tributes will be taken to the Anderson's Bay Cemetery following the city's main dawn service at Queen's Garden. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.